Hi, class 4 students. What is the task? Group the parts. That's not the internal organs. That's the image. Now, the task is to know the name of the task. No come, I mean objectives. Usually, if you give any one image, students can identify the parts of images easily. You know very well the reason of conducting this competition is to find outstanding students of the class. If they participate in this task, they have to find 5 images and more than 25 parts of images. So students have to work hard to win this game. So students, those who trained well only can perform in this task. So encourage your students to participate in this task to gain knowledge about more scientific words. Now, what is the game? So, we have to do it. We have to do So, we have to do it. So, we have to do it. So, we Hi, children. We welcome you to the task of assembling the parts correctly in the given image. On a table, you will find five images which will be kept before you for each image you have to identify the correct three parts of it these parts will will have names printed on it and it will be shuffled and kept in a belt so as soon as the whistle blows it's you who have to identify and choose and fix the parts correctly on each image so all together you have to fix three parts each on the five given images. Okay children, your time starts now to grab your prize. All the very best. the right half and the left half and both these halves are connected to each other by a bundle of nerve fibers called the corpus callosum our brain has wrinkles on its exterior surface and this wrinkly part is called as the cerebrum which makes up the major portion of our brain we notice that the cerebrum is actually divided into four parts or four lobes we can say the first one is called the frontal lobe now just by the name, can you guess which one of these can be called the frontal lobe? Yes, it is this one, the one present in the front. Let's move to the next lobe. This highlighted lobe here is called the parietal lobe. The next lobe is called the temporal lobe. Fourth and the last lobe is the occipital lobe of the brain. The small bulge at the back of your brain that you see is called as the cerebellum. Just like the cerebrum, this cerebellum is also divided into two halves. It's called as the small brain and pulmonary valve are on the right. The mitral and aortic valves are on the left. The superior and inferior vena. The pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. The aorta is the main artery that carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Human liver, common body. 
boiled duck hepatic artery portal vein inferior vena cava aorta gall bladder Right 